Hello. All right, all right, all right. We are uh, the live. Hey, Captain Jetlag. I want a fry up. I want like English style breakfast. I think that would be delicious. You know, with uh, eggs and beans and sausage and just a big of fat bacon plate. <laughs> hey, Holmes. And barbecue. Yeah, that would be delicious. So today, today I was thinking that I will render that. This thing I will render today. Hey, Giorgio. Yeah, Oms, a continental breakfast, just fried eggs, the whole thing. And then the plate is like oversized, so you just go like, I have no idea how to eat that, how that will all fit. And then like half an hour later, you take the last fork of whatever bacon and then you've managed, but you 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 have breakfast like up to the ears. Hey, cheers from Captain Bose. So today I will render that. I thought would be fun. Uh, I, my face is dry. I need to go cream it after after the stream. Bose. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's start the timer. 30 minutes are taken. So I think what I want to do is um, increase the head size. I'm going to try to, well, I'm going to try to um, uh, up the pace a bit just to see like uh, what I can cram in. Hey Miller, how's it going? So two people are having issues with the stream. Hmm. Maybe it's one of those days for uh, Twitch, you know, where where um, there was a period where everybody was complaining that uh, the stream wasn't um, showing correctly, right? Okay, let's go with that. Let's do. Let's see what what Photoshop does. Print, undo, way way cuter proportions. All right, here we go. Hey, two shrooms and nephars. How's it going? How's it going? Right. So, color cherry blossom. They're white, right, and pink. So let's let's add some pink. Oh, cute with those pink ears. Let's go with that. That was really cute. So Sunday, eight p.m. in the evening is the two-week challenge paintover session. 8 p.m. Sunday GMT. Um, the pinned message on Discord has lost, become deleted for some reason. I have no idea. Uh, but uh, yeah, Sunday, Sunday, 8 p.m. GMT, which is sun early Sunday morning for Americans. Saturday night. I don't know. Actually, not sure which way the clock goes. Goes forward to the east, right? Backwards to the left, to the west. If I'm not mistaken, maybe I am making. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. So I want to. 
make the cherry be super red. I also want to add add stuff to contrast the red, right? So maybe I can add some like cooler tones. Maybe the fingers and the face can be a cool tone so that the leaves and everything is like super juicy. Captain Jetlag, oh really? Ah. Interesting. Hey Andrea. Andrea. I have no idea. I see it. Um, no idea why you guys don't see it. I did only a selected people as well. What? There's a running joke on Discord about hey. It's funny. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah, I like those changes. They're cute. Okay, soft light. Let's add some warmth. Where are we with time? Oh, only five minutes in. Whew. Easy. Easy. Touch wood. Now, of course, nothing is going to be easy. Now I'm, I'm just only have problems. Ooh, let's give this guy, a, a girl, a guy, a big fuzzy bill, belly. Ooh, that would be nice to nice have like that. Warm tone on the hands. Should really have there as well. But I want to treat that differently. I want to do that with a uh, color dodge. Color dodge. Overlay. Let's do that an overlay. To burn some of those. Maybe it's too yellow. I'll desaturate. I'll desaturate. I'll shift it. I'll shift it. I think it has to be yeah, there you go. That's cherry blossom like porcelain like behavior. Yeah, it's very important people there, yeah, for sure. People, um, they're, they're not allowed. You're not allowed to play. I wonder if this is a bad move to make the beat the background dark. Ish. I'm not sure yet if it's a good move or a bad move. It might make the picture look heavy, but it also might look the light parts lighter. Hmm. I have to do this, I think. I'm going for it. It'll make sense in the end, I hope. You see, now, like me saying, oh, it's easy, five minutes in, now I'm paying for it. I knew it, I knew it. I shouldn't have. It's okay, it's okay. So, Friday, what's your plans for the weekend? My plans are none. Sunday stream, that's about it. I'm going to try to work on a project of mine and I also have to, to do some stuff as well. Yeah, 
that works with the dark background. Hey, Lurib, you made it. Jacob Mobley. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jacob, aren't you supposed to be off internet? Jacob Mobley, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to work, draw? That sounds good. Um, maybe uh, we can do a hangout um, Saturday. If I'm going to do a project, uh, like personal project-ish, we could do like a Google Hangout, as it's not contract. Uh, I think that could be cool. Maybe do a... Uh, the Google Hangout thing. There is a link in Welcome channel. Let's see this. Let's get a little bit darker. There we go. Oh, I like this guy. <laughs> this is how blind people feel. <laughs> oh, too bad, Chilstrand. He's not seeing this super cute cherry. Blossom fairy come to life. So I think I got a I need to add in. Um, I need to add some grays. I think because it's starting to become just pink tones, but so far so good. I think. Just adding some sat high saturated uh, pink at places to kind of get that rhythm of sorts. I was uh, thinking. Hey, painter XP, welcome back. That's great, Jacob Mobile. Yeah, do that. Hey, Maxi, you made it. You stood by your word. <laughs> How cool. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think I'll need to add some of that crazy pink to those cute little horns of her. And then in order to to highlight them even further, I think I'll add uh, a very bright highlight. Just so it kind of stands out a little bit more. Um, I don't think this should be equally pink. I think it gotta be pushed back a bit. Libraries it needs to go through now. Captain Bows, oh that sounds tasty. <laughs> yeah, karma. That's hilarious. So you know these classic painters, right? That when they do these portraits, they use a dark background. Do they ever like paint paint the background? You know, I know that they use just black to kind of lift the stuff out, but I need to look more into detail how, how they do that. Like, do they, like, top, my, my favorite top lighting, do they add that, or is it just, like, stark contrast, like, they are void of the room? You know, obviously, when they set up lighting conditions for portraits, they don't have the background 
interfere really with the portrait other than their, their you know because they want the background not to be affected by the light directly you know so that there's a cast shadow etc they're moved away from the background so I don't know Yeah, it's, Twitch seems to have issues today. Too many people complaining about it. Uh, I was um, informed by Twitch that uh, I was like in, in beta stuff. There is a beta version of everything. Um, so maybe they're fucking around with that. Sorry for the curse word. I don't know the policy with curse words on Twitch. If I curse, maybe there will be, but there's no need to curse, really. It's just me being lazy, not using words properly, taking the, the easy way out by cursing. Shame on There's one thing that you learn when you get kids. <laughs> you really got to stop cursing, or the kids will walk around like pirates, just effing this, effing that. Might not be that. Might not be that good. I'll show you off the tattoo. All right. Here, I can. Oh, wow. Well. Where's the tattoo? I have creamed it. Well, you can see how how fiddly and clean the lines are. Pretty epic. Really well done. I'm pleased. Hey, Mila. I am happy. I'm very happy with the tattoo, actually. It's, uh, it ended up great. Oh, you like the, the color? Yeah, me too, actually. It uh, turned out very, very interesting. And I love the softness of how it's rendered. <clears throat> and I think the only way we, it comes off as soft is because there's very low value range. And there's these darker parts that help uh, indicate, you know, that it's a, it, there is a softness to to the to the objects right because there is a dark shadow at places so that's something that a lot of people uh, do mistakes of when they do something soft and um, they they make everything soft and it just then it just you tends to look very washed out so that's one thing that andrea does uh, really well with her studies is um, she practiced different materials and different colors um, being unified under the same lighting condition it's a really good good practice so hats off to to Andrea for doing that that will only help her and a lot of people in the discord could benefit from doing that. I see a lot of that mistake. Um, me as well, occasionally, uh, it's easy thing to, to not think about, but uh, that each material have its own local color and has its own local uh, behavior, but they're all unified under the same light, right? They're, they're sitting in the same world space. But that's a lot of people forget about that fact that they need to harmonize but separate. You know, what pale skin versus stone floor. Uh, Jacob Mobley, it's a uh, cherry blossom, you know, the Japanese cherry blossoms. So I'm, I, don't, I haven't looked what they look like. This was a warm-up that said Cherry Blossom Fairy. Uh, I know I know that cherry blossoms are like white 
loops. This is just me making very soft looking petal coat. Now, if it's right or wrong, if it is the way cherry blossoms look, I have no idea. If it's, I don't even think the blossoms, the blossoms look, I, as far as I remember, cherry blossoms uh, tend to look a lot like apple, uh, apple flowers. As far as I remember, just like a lump that is quite like a crown. All right. Well, I, as I said, I have no idea. I haven't looked up what they what it should look should look like. You know, it's just warm up uh, that I'm rendering. No research whatsoever. I mean, obviously, there should probably be some research if I wanted to make it into something special. But <clears throat> as I'm not trying to make it into something special, rather than just a, a rendering warm up. Um, so that's that's what's happening. I really want to play some games tonight, I think. I will play some Destiny 2. I'm looking forward to it. But I will also spend some time at the, at, the, at the office, I think. Do some project stuff, and then when I'm bored of it, jump on Destiny. Destiny 2. I really enjoy that game actually. I, I enjoy the way they, I mentioned it before, the way they done the gun, gun fighting. It's good fun. Makes you feel, feel skilled running around shooting stuff and making combinations of, of like your um, attack attributes etc. Andrea, yeah, I have no idea. I'm not at all educated in cherry blossom. I just seen it from like illustrations of samurais and ninjas. <laughs> That's about it. That's my like reference port. Ninja, ninja illustrations. Well, let's add some red in here. Just to tie her with the cherry. So she is the cherry Sub in a subtle, subtle way. Let's add some red shine in her eyes because we need the, to really key in that, that into the you know, high saturated color on reflective eyes. So they gotta reflect some of that. Let's add some pink in here. The bottom frame. Yeah. So we're, we have around eight minutes left, or seven and a half. Going pretty good. I'm digging. I'm happy that I chose to do um, soft light layer at the early on with yellow in it to give the body uh, tint because now we can see the yellow on the eyebrows I don't know if you guys see it that well but let's zoom in a bit so you see maybe you can see it uh, there's like yellow in there so the combination of yellow and, and mint kind of um, makes it an interesting 
harmony of the, the colors. And the fact that I also brush some purple in there into the shadows, um, you know, makes makes all the colors uh, a lot more vibrant and, and the sense of them uh, being alive. That's all usually the trick with colors and trying to make them uh, feel uh, like they have uh, vibrancy is that um, when you put hues next to each other in a specific combination, they start uh, vibrating. If you, if, you, if you have a hard time focusing on the light uh, or the hue, you're doing something right. <laughs> you know, like if you have a hard time because there's the, the colors are starting to vibrate, then, uh, um, then you're on to a good combination of colors. I don't know if you can see it here, but there is this kind of baby blue, very pale baby blue mixed with yellow and pink and, and it starts to like pulsate a bit. If you if you kind of maintain that and, and, and enhance it, you can get some pretty cool uh, relationships. Like if you look at Craig Mullins work, he does a lot of that, uh, especially in skies, etc. It's this kind of vibrancy behavior that he has many different hue shifts not value shifts but hue shifts next to each other so that it the colors they just uh, come alive and uh, i know james gurney talks about that as well it's, i mean it's nothing new it's a classic uh, painter uh, traditional stuff you know Jacob Mobley, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a tricky thing to do to do, but uh, when you do figure it out, it's it's so beneficial. Uh, personally, I am decent at it, uh, but I'm no by no means like really really good at it. So I know myself I should be doing some of that, but uh, I don't have really time for it. But I should take time for it, you know. So, for example, about vibrancy and colors, one thing that you can see, but I haven't done really, really well, is like the the white is just not white, right? There's yellow, uh, orange, or peach rather. How dare you fall? Um, in 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 the eye here. So are usually at highlights, you shouldn't just have white. You should really like uh, have a uh, color shift. The highlight isn't hard enough. It needs to be harder. I should have zoomed in. Uh, so when you do zoom out, the the white isn't just dead white. It it has a vibrancy to it. it, it Again, it like pulsates because there's many different uh, hues in there, much like um, what's it called? Hey, Brichenko. Lurib, no, I boosted the contrast. Um, Erichenko, you and me, rocky run all day. Hey, G, deadless, yeah. Very end of it. Yeah, I was looking at it um, when I was uploading uh, movies or updating the website, and it was so washed out, like gray mush. Uh, also because of the sketchbook sessions, so I had a look and I thought like ah, I should boost, and that's what I did. So let's deepen some of that over here so we can get extra, extra deep dark eyes, right? 
because it's going to be a focal point now, I think. Two minutes left. It'll be a... Uh, It'll be time well spent, I think, a little bit to give it the attention to the eyes. I'd say it's good enough. So one, th one thing that is important that, that uh, I'd, I'd like to kind of point out if you follow the process of this uh, little uh, painting is that a lot of groundwork and a lot of finished look was done very early. And that is something a lot of artists, at, uh, when they're learning, uh, do uh, m as a mistake. They think that all the hard work is in the end. You know, but a lot of the, what's establishing good colors and great uh, relationship between all the values and shapes has to be done early. So if you look at traditional painters, uh, they are very myth methodological, and uh, they set everything up so that as the painting continues, all the hard work is done in layers rather than rough sketch and then force all the dynamics into the painting. They already establish a lot of brush marks, a lot of palette uh, early on. Uh, and that's something you guys should think about when you're doing your paintings. It's like color variations and hue shifts, etc. should come early so that you don't need to add it afterwards and, and, it, and it'll become stiff and dead and you're using too much of the same color all over the painting and all the hues die off. Like I said, so the, I'm, I'm, I don't regard myself as some sort of Craig Mullins here with colors, but I know that much. Time's up. One last, maybe, contrast. Yeah. Right. Hey, Paul Treffel. Welcome. Unfortunately, you joined at the very end of the third of industry. Um, so, uh, again, uh, Sunday, 8 p.m. GMT as in you, your Central European time, uh, I will do two-week paint-over session um, from on Discord. Going to be streamed. Uh, Saturday might do a hangout. If you guys are up for it, we'll see if, how I feel. Otherwise, uh, Monday morning, the same time as now, uh, I'll do a stream. Uh, yeah, dead list. This is a, a warm-up from earlier in the week. Uh, that I thought I'd paint up today. Um, so thanks everyone for joining. Uh, have a fantastic Friday. Saturday if we don't hang, catch up. Uh, otherwise Sunday or Monday morning. Uh, thank you very much, Mila. You too, Lurib. Uh, hey, Tefram34. 
thanks for joining in and a de lurking. Have a good one, everyone. Oh, that's good. Different. All right. Who knows? 28. You and me rock and run all day like little schoolgirls on the beach. All right. Bye, everyone. Have a good one.